Third gland, it's me. One second. T, one of the is taking the train to Tibet. A, this is a Tuesday, which means it's a U.S. politics day. Tomorrow, Wednesday, is going to be a world politics day. On Thursday, it's going to be audio drama day. On Friday, it's like a week wrap up, you know, stuff that I missed or whatever. whatever. On Saturday, it's a, it's a whatever pops into my head. Sunday, is whatever pops into my head. I'm starting to do some reading. We'll, we'll get to that later. Uh, and of course, Monday is the me day. But today, we deal with U.S. politics. Okay, look. And these are T tirades, by the way. Okay. I'll put a tirade. This might be mercifully short. <laughs> Why? A bunch of things, right? My my dad is low. Well, wait a second. It's a while. You know, I go to my seniors because I give them, uh, I give them uh, you know, some Qigong and some Tai Chi and some, some specific. I, I My exercise program for the seniors here in Denbaza, the Denbaza Society for the for the, uh, for the age, what I call the wisdoms, but it's tailored to them. In fact, I think I'm going to do a, I might do a, I'm going to do a, uh, I'll do a YouTube um, that's going to uh, talk specifically what I'm going to do, do, do to them. I'll figure it out sometime. Okay, anyway, back to point. As we know, the Democrat Party had their thingy last week, and, well, last week, and, uh, you know, they had the coronation or whatever they, whatever, whatever they had. And entertainment and coronation and entertainment and coronation. They had all. They had every. They had a bunch of people on the on the stage and whatever. So, I. I don't really want to talk about that, but I have to. Now here's the thing. I was through with the Democrat Party. With most part because I used to vote for the platform. Now back in the day when I I just I started voting in uh, 1972. Well, wait, wait a second, brother. 1972, you was 22 years old. Why you vote so late? You know, why wasn't you voting, you know, before then? Well, I'll tell you why I wasn't voting before then. You know, but I could have voted four years earlier. No, I couldn't. Why? Because 18 year olds didn't have the right to vote. <laughs> you know, since World, since the end of World War II, a bunch of people was trying to get an 18 year old right to vote because they can go, they, they say, hey, if they can go go fight a war, they should be able to vote. Blah, blah. And they kept on how many now? He died from the blah, 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 and then whatever, 30, 20, whatever years later. Then finally, 1972, uh, Nixon signed the thing. Hey, 18 year old, you know, you can vote now, vote. But when I was drafted, or not drafted, well, that was almost drafted because, uh, you know, I would have been constricted. Constricted. <laughs> I didn't want to be constricted into, <laughs> into the army and be hanging out in the South Bronx one day. And then, you know, uh, six weeks later, I'll be in the middle of the jungles of Vietnam fighting some 13-year-old about their land. You know, uh, I mean, it's, I was politically, very politically aware of that thing. So I wasn't going to do that. And, of course, the Marines, that was the Army. The Marines, that's because your, your name was just put in a bin and then you was plucked out. You know, you had a number and then you had to go for your, don't worry about that part. And then the Marines, their position is go kill them. You know, <laughs> kill them. That's the, oh, what? If I'm not going to, if I, so I wasn't going to do that. And then the Navy, my, you had to take a test for the Navy, right? Uh, uh, and my brother, my brother used the words of Merchant Marine for a second. And he said, nah, you don't want to do that because you'll be on a boat with about, you know, 15, uh, 1,500, whatever, uh, of, of white boys. And most of them from back then, for some reason, they, they recruited a lot of white boys from the South into the Navy. I, have no, I don't know why they did that. All I know is that that wasn't a place to be. So I said, I'll take the test for the Air Force. And tell you the truth, I mean, I never thought of it, but, but you know, I, I knew I could pass tests. I mean, I, I could pass, you know, I, I took tests for Air Force and made it to the Air Force. I said, I'm going to do my four years and whoosh, get out of here. Get back to the theater, you know, because I was doing theater. I'm going to get back to the theater. I don't want to, you know, like that. So, so some 70s, I don't even do, uh, I was in the Air Force. I don't even, you know, I don't even know if I voted. I must have voted because. Well, because the first time I could vote, I must have voted. Maybe I was home or something. I, whatever, wherever I was, I must have voted. I'm saying I must have voted because I, I was stationed. Say two years. I was stationed on the, on the, on the, uh, on the East Coast. I mean, I was stationed at McGuire Air Force Base. I never left country. You know what I mean? I never, I never even went to like a lot of people was in Germany and, and the Philippines or wherever they was, right? And then a lot of people were in country, meaning you know, in Vietnam. But I was in, I was in New Jersey. <laughs> And here was a funny thing. Let me tell you something. Uh, you know, when people nowadays, they say, oh, thank you for your service. 
especially when we're in Virginia, everybody puts all the stories. Oh, they say you're a veteran. You know, so they, thank you for your service. You know, back then they wasn't doing that, but even even so, uh, because everybody was, was you was basically going in country. But since I never left, so he said, well, 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 brother, what did you do? Well, I was a lab technician, right? Now what I did, <laughs> this is funny. Um, well, it's not funny. It's yeah, it's, it's it's ironic, right? Because I'm in the service. The service I did was for the community. I was doing sickle cell <laughs> testing, sickle cell screening. I was doing lead lead poison testing. And I created where I was co-founded a thing called the Black Caucus on 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 base. Man, we we was doing um, we was doing benefits and stuff like. Oh, it was. Let me put it this way. I I was like a I was doing what I was doing like the Black Panther program in the in the U.S. Air Force. I was using their resources. I mean, I was all, all kinds of we organized all kinds of things, man. You know. You know, so when you thank me for my service, you're thanking me for doing service to the, for 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 the downtrodden community, which is where I came from. Okay, back to the point. Let's get to the point now. So anyway, so now we can vote. But I used to vote for the platforms. I've always been weird. You know, I mean, I, people are going like, eh, nah, it's not weird. I, I've always been, um, how I say, uh, uh, not crucial. What is that? Well, I vote. Don't worry about that part, because I can't think of what, what I what I what I more what I always am, right? Systematic. I, I've been. I'm, I'm, I'm surgical. I'm a, I'm, I'm a thinker. I'm a I'm a, I'm a I'm a That's what I am. Okay. And so I used to vote for the platform, right? You know, whatever the platform. Whatever they say, the platform was okay. That's a line. I know it's politics. You can only shift a certain way. So I do that. Until what was that? I think it was on uh, somewhere in the. Uh, not the seventies, maybe in the eighties. Yeah, the, 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 they 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 started to put. I think in the late seventies, they started to put into the platform about D.C. statehood. And I knew if we had D.C. statehood, that means you had automatically have two senators and a congressperson. That's three black people back then. It was Chocolate City, so back then you had three black people automatically whoosh, into the. Well, I'm going like, hey, this is sweet. This is good. This is this is smart. You know. Well, at one time, I forget who it was. Maybe, and Jesse was running on that. I know in in eighty, in eighty four, because you know I worked for Jesse. I worked for. I, I I did volunteer stuff for Jesse Jackson campaign because I was down Lower East Side. In fact, I ran the desk of the disenfranchised. I was writing memos and stuff like that. Like that. Anyway, um, so eighty four. I think they the first had eighty four on the platform. Eighty four. Then in eighty eight, just I think Jesse ran again. It was in the platform, again, I think, right? And then in was 92, that was, the, uh, the, so 84 was uh, the, the little guy with the, with the, with the helmet in the, in the tank, uh, uh, Dukakis, right? Because I was, I was at that convention. So I didn't go in the convention. I was like, don't worry about that part either. Uh, so they still, I think they still had it in the platform then. Then 92 came along, and that's when Bill Clinton, I think they still had, even though, well, yeah, and it was still Chocolate City. They still had a platform there. And then he, what I heard was um, Bill Clinton turned, turned to Jesse Jackson, you know, because Jesse was a big, you know, a, a muckety muck in, into the Democrat uh, process by then. I heard that uh, Bill Clinton turned to Jesse Jackson and said, hey, you know that thing about D.C. statehood? It ain't going to happen. <laughs> or something like that, you know. So, so, some things that we want, Bill Clinton said, it ain't going to happen. So Bill, Bubba, man, let me tell you something. No, let me not tell you. That. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you that. I, I said I was gonna tell you, so I'm gonna tell you. Right, uh, J. Edgar Hoover was a self-hating black uh, uh, mafia. Oh, don't win South Africa, but self-hating black male homosexual. Okay, so therefore he did everything against black people and whatever. Right, Bubba. I don't know if he had any black in him, but. He hates black people. Bubba hates black people. He attacked the black. What, what, there's a lot of times people, I think even that Dyson guy, the, the, the professor, the so-called professor, that he wrote some sort of letter about, oh, you don't want to do this for black women. You know, something about, you know, if you don't vote for Kamala Harris, you're going to, you know, you're going to, da, 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 da. Well, wait, well. When they was attacking Sister Soldier back then, we was all these these professional these professor prof, prof, professorial 
hey, there's a big word for you. Hey, the brother said a big word. Where's all these professorial people back then when they were second sister, sister soldier? Well, he was just, she was just laying people to waste. You know what I mean? Did you, did you, did you speak up for them? In fact, since you didn't speak up for them now, why don't you speak up for her now? Talk about platforms, let's deal with, 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 with cold hard facts. Sister soldier be, was spitting some facts. <laughs> facts. What you doing? Right? Right now. Where's your facts? Here's a fact. <laughs> um, the chameleon. The the Harris woman. Everybody's talking about she she needs to face no hard questions, blah 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 blah. Yeah, she needs to that. Okay, yeah. But here's what I say. Let me give you a fact. You know Hillary Clinton? They are supposed to be the first woman going to be the president, right? You know why she lost? Look into this. You want a fact? Because white women said, yeah, we want a woman, but not that woman. White women. It wasn't men. It was white women said that. Now, let's fast forward. I'm, 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 well, let's fast forward right now. Oh, especially black women. Oh, we need, oh, it's going to be a woman. Oh, it's going to be a woman. Oh, a black woman. Ain't going to be sister soldier. But it's going to be a woman. It's going to be a black woman. Oh, it's not sister soldier. It's going to be a woman. It's going to be, dare I say it again. If you ain't doing the sister soldier thing, then you could be with you, you. And you ain't really, uh, I, I say like, like Biden said, if you ain't doing the sister soldier thing, you ain't really a black woman. If you shoot, okay. I was going to say shilling. Okay. okay. So here's what I'm saying. First of all, I'm going to do it like this. White women, if they wasn't going to take Hillary, they certainly ain't going to take Kamala, who's like Hillary uh, 0.5. <laughs> Everybody think that Kamala's like, the, the, they thought that she was going to be a, 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 a Obama a 2.0. That's a little slide digging there for you people who understand because I, I, I can do that, right? Kamala is Hillary 0.5. And white women don't want that woman either. So you could be trying to get black women on black women. Black, black, real black women, you might have them. I don't know what's happening with black women. I don't speak for no black women. I don't speak for black people. I don't speak for nobody. I don't even speak. I speak for the downtrodden. Because well, the downtrodden ain't speaking. Well, they can't. They don't. They don't let the downtrodden speak. But I don't even speak for the downtrodden. I speak for. I speak for me's. That's all I speak for. I don't be speaking for black people. Nothing like that. But I will tell you this: white women are not going to allow that woman, <laughs> that East Indian, to be president of the United States. I can tell you that right now. And that's all I'm going to say. I'm through with the Democrat, right? Here's what, okay, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. As of now, here's what I'm going to do. Uh, I guess maybe I'll talk about this next week because uh, RFK jumped into me. RFK did a brilliant, oh, brilliant thing. You know, let's, can I say one, can I, I'm going to go off topic as usual. I'm going to meander again, right? Think about this. You got Corner West supposed to be so smart. Oh, Oh, you know, he's got the brandy in one hand and the cigar, well, maybe he's not doing cigar anymore, the, and hanging and, and hang with the hoity, the, the, the hoity poity and, and doing the same thing, mentioning John Coltrane and his, and his brother and, 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 and the cool and the gang and the dude, they get over there. You know, how, you know his shtick. <laughs> I, especially, I especially say shtick, I threw that stick in there. You know, if you, you people from New York, you know, you know what I'm talking about, shtick, right? You know, but, you know, he's still there, just, just mouthing off, he's going to do it, get this, he's going to put that there. Maybe it's good. Okay, you can talk about, you know, the, 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 that's fine. I'm not I'm not coming down to Cornell. I'm just trying to say, you're supposed to be a brain. You know, you from Harvard. You teach at Princeton. And you're supposed to be a brain. Robert F. Kennedy, Jr. That's a brilliant move what he did. <laughs> talk about platform. He said, look, I'm Kate. And I, I'll talk about, I'll talk about, maybe I'll talk about it. But what he did was interesting. Because he said, I'm going a, I'm to a withdraw from the states that are basically uh, 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 soda. You know what I mean? I guess that's what he said. I'll have to look into it. I'll tell you next week more. But 
I'm gonna st I'm, I'm still gonna campaign in certain other other, other states. However, we did it. This is really, really, really brilliant, right? Now here's what I'm gonna do. Because I'm a political animal. I my whole thing is like have fun. If you're gonna do something, have fun. Here's what I was gonna do. At first, I was just gonna write. Uh, first of all, my I have a campaign. Oh, I forgot to tell you. I should have said this in the beginning. I should have been upfront, right? I, but I'm, I'm doing a political thing, so I'm not upfront, upfront, all the time. Sometimes you gotta go that right? I'm running, right? I'm a write-in candidate. I want you to write in my name. My name is Reparations. So uh, let me do a J, uh, R, yeah, RFK thing, right? If you are in a state that's not in contention, like you know, or, or going to be a Democrat state or a Republican state, then you know, some place or that thing, because you know we have write in in, in 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 the states, right? Right? Somewhere in there, I want you to write in the word reparations. That's me, Anthony. Reparations slow. Just write in reparations. Call me by my nickname. Call me by call me by my middle name. <laughs> reparations, right? So write in reparations. So if you, if, if you know, for instance, uh, uh, Trump is going to win this state, just write in reparations under there. If you know Biden, not Biden, uh, Harris is going to win this state, then write in reparations, right? If you don't want to, if you if you don't care for none of these people, then write in reparations, right? If if some, oh, oh, say for, okay, if if you are so if you 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 just got to write in Harris, fine, write in Harris. I mean, write you guys click the thing for Harris or do anything for Harris. Go ahead, do that. But someplace else on the ballot, like if you know your congressman's going to win anyway, or if they have some other issue, just write in reparations. Someplace on your ballot, write in reparations. Okay? That's my campaign. Reparations. Just write in reparations. For those of you people, you know, who, uh, who, uh, who so for, say you're anti-war like me, you can write in no war. In fact, I'm going to write on my ballot someplace reparations, no war. But I'm going to get back to the president right now. So that's what that that's that's what I want you. That's my campaign, right? Now let's go back to what, what I'm actually going to do. Well, I'm actually going to write in reparations someplace on the ballot, right? But I think in Virginia, probably Jill Stein is writing running in Virginia. I'm a I'm a vote for Jill Stein, and then some other places put for reparations. As long as reparations appears on the ballot, then I'm cool. So, but brother, why are you writing Jill Stein? Oh, no, no, well, I know. Look, let me put it this: right. she's for rep hey, she's for reparations. So I'm putting reparations. As a thing, as a as a candidate, as a in part of the platform, right? And I'm writing in reparations other places, right? Well, still, aren't you wasting your vote? Right? No, you don't understand how politics works. And this is what RFK is saying too. In a way, of, in a well known way. If you write, if you do a third party candidate, right? That messes up that whole uh, system that they got, right? Because that means that person that comes to the fore. Even if you even if you don't believe that. It gives them more, uh, how you say, bona fides for the next election. You know, they, they, you, you, it gets counted somehow. It gets counted because remember, the, the, your, your voting is not really a vote; it's a poll. They're polling you. <laughs> They're polling you. It's a poll. Don't think. Okay, don't think that, that your vote's going to change anything. Because remember, they had that, that thing from. I keep on saying it from Princeton and somebody from from Chicago. These two professors. They did a. They did a whole thing about. About, about who who the politicians listen to, they don't listen to you. They listen to the donors, right? So basically, no matter who you vote for, you vote for the same the same uh, class of people, right? Because the the donors hold everything, right? I'll get into uh, because every, look, the, I guess the campaign really uh, the electoral season really starts next Tuesday because that's after or Tuesday after it's, it's after Labor Day is when the when you get into hardcore electoral season. So what I'm saying is this: that uh, uh, for me, it's like I'm poking the I'm, I'm poking the system by voting for Jill Stein and writing in reparations every place. Plus, remember, I'm, I guess I'm back to voting for for the platform because Jill Stein's platform. Jill Stein should say that the, the Green Party platform. They got the I think the brother is a brother running as as I'm, a, oh, I'm sorry, man. I should have. I, I know there's a brother running as vice president. They had a brother brother last time, but. Man, but this brother, he's deep, he's deep. I better, I better do my homework on that one. I'll get back to you. We got the electoral season just starting. I'm not to pay no attention. I'll just pay attention to the headlines right now, okay? Like most of you. <laughs> let us let us do our research, okay? Come on now. Come on with me. Uh, 
Following reparations here. The, 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 oh, uh, le last thing, last thing, last thing. I'm going to let you go. I am going to let you go. I swear to you, right? In preparation for you writing in reparations, when you get, like, when, the, when, 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 when they, you, they're always asking for surveys here, surveys there. Start writing there when they have, you have additional comments. Start writing the word reparations in. Wherever, wherever you can. So once you get used to writing reparations in on surveys, because remember, or, or polls, surveys and polls, because, well, like I said, what, what, is, what is modern politics in the, in the USA, in the United States of North America? It's a poll. It's not voting. So I want you to get to, used to writing reparations. Just write reparations. Every, and no matter, no matter where you are, when they ask you how, any further comments, you say, write reparations. Write reparations. If, they, if you're being uh, 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 interviewed, they say, do you have any further? I have one more thing to say. Reparations. They go, what does that mean? Just reparations. There's a guy. This guy wants to write in reparations. No, no, don't say that part because then you get in trouble. They say reparations, and they say good. Well, so you know reparations. Like they, reparations. I, I, I like that word reparations. Oh, oh, you could say lineage reparations. Then there'll be more specific lineage reparations. Well, lineage, lineage reparations. Just say that. So you have to explain yourself. Okay. All right. That's it. I'm sorry. I said I was going to be short. Like most politicians, I lied. Sorry about that. I'll talk to you uh, manana uh, on something else. Talk to you later. Bye. See ya.